you think email marketing is already something of the good old days, you're making a really big mistake. As enduring as an envelope in the mailbox, email in your day still brings a lot of joy on a highly personal level. It's your opportunity to speak directly to your customers in their inbox at a time that's convenient for them. Coupled with the right messaging, this is a great marketing strategy to organically grow your business or brand and convert your visitors into real customers. But first, you gotta succeed at capturing the contact details from your prospective leads. You don't want to invest too much in an email that won't be sent to just a few people, or even no one. Hi, I'm Tracy Nguyen. Welcome to another video by Ecom Learning with PageFly. Our channel content will help you grow your business online and beat the e-commerce game. So please feel free to subscribe to this channel and let us know if there's any topic you want us to cover. Now, we come into the video. Here are the nine best practices to a high converting email capture plan. First, make your email personal. Remember the time you received an email addressing you by your nickname and congratulating you on graduation, wishing you all the best just on your last day of college? Even if it's a branded email, chances are you won't mind giving it a click on the call to action. Different people have different moments and so your brand should record all the details about your customers and tailor your message accordingly. This could also be achieved by A-B testing. The idea is that you split your content into two and test the ideas of similar sets of audience to understand what they like and dislike. Secondly, keep your landing page simple. There are some amazing products out there with a horrible user experience. That makes us want to immediately forget about it. That's why, when talking about landing page, the UX in general, the simpler, the better. For example, instead of asking customers to fill out a long list of form fields, encourage them to leave a few pieces of information and follow up on that later. Three, pop-up are the way to go. Pop-up are the great way to engage your users and get their attention. The pop-up ads are usually set up in a way that appears in the center of the page where the attention of the browser is focused. The user would definitely have a glance over the content of the ad before closing the window. Make sure that you leave your customers some amount of time to consume your valuable content before throwing out the ad. 4. Social proof. We're social beings. We want to be a part of something bigger than ourselves. That's exactly why social proof matters. Go and add some star ratings and testimonials to your site. This could show that behind your products are actual clients who love your product. 5. The button you choose for your page matters. Adding some benefits to your button increases your chance of success. Just by changing the wording or the size of your button, you might be more successful in convincing a user to subscribe or even convert him into a recurring customer. For example, a longer button saying, read more for the best recommendation on XYZ is a lot more clickable than a simpler read more. Six. Focus on the presentation. Presentation is the top priority when it comes to landing pages. Visuals are also important because these are basically your first shot at giving a great impression to your customers. That's why you need to take good care of the copy and presentation. Steps as simple as having bigger form fields or applying the problem solution to your copy can contribute a large part to your conversion rate. Seven, special offers and discounts. Offers and discounts are some of our favorite tactics simply because they work. Offering something for free in exchange for something like an email is a no-brainer for the customers. It makes people feel heard and special, and we all love that. 8. Put efficiency above all. When checking out a website, it usually takes us less than a minute to decide if it's visually appealing or not. That's why efficiency is important. Details as simple as centering forms and buttons can mean higher chance of success. And last but not least, adding the fear of missing out. Something as simple as adding a benefit bar will help your visitors and customers remember why they are choosing your business above all competitors. A countdown timer might urge your customers to make purchase before time runs out. With all these tips in mind, we'll go ahead and show some of the page examples for your inspiration. 
Look at the eight point checklist, including reassurance, personalization, simplicity, pop up, social proof, uh, benefit buttons, special offers and discount, FOMO ad factors, and form design. We will see what they're doing right and what they're missing. First, let's take a look at the webpage from Freelancing Females Reassurance and Personalization. I gotta say, that I like how they directly claim their target customers in the name and communicate it really clearly on the web page. The pastel color palette and images of independent women have bring a slight sense of personalization to the visitors. Simplicity. Well, the wording is mostly in headlines and short paragraphs, making it very easy to follow. Pop-up. No pop-up notifications on the page, yet doesn't affect the user experience at all. Social proof. Short testimonials with the name of the clients. It could be better if there's more human photos and big partner logos in this section. Benefit buttons. Instead of the usual sign up or download now text, the call to action buttons include the product benefits in their wording, such as freelance directory, find the freelancer, and job board. Super easy for visitors to follow and understand exactly what they are offer. Special offers and discount. Giving a free rate sheet in exchange for a subscription is a smart move. This giveaway is especially appealing to first-time freelancers, so they will be more likely to leave their contact there. FOMO Factor The sign-up form text includes the phrase one of a kind, which increases the curiosity of the visitors. They know they could be missing on something if they don't subscribe now. And about form design, the form is simply designed with the contact box and the call to actions. The fact that the form is used twice in the middle of the page and the bottom with two different wordings makes it more possible for the visitors to leave their contact. Next, we'll get to Lens Media. And about simplicity, the newsletter is one of our favorite examples. No background, no distractions, just the one-liner you need to read in order to understand what you'll be getting. Reassurance and personalization. The wording in the form explains just enough of who it is for, what it is about, and the owner of the page. When I click on the buttons to see more, I can see a lot of content that are specifically tailored for the freelancers. And about the pop-up, the pop-up form uh, page prior to the main site is a real treat. It's not only informs the visitors to what's coming next, but also brings a lot of entertainment to the curious minds. Social proof. As this landing page comes from a personal idea, the author is the social proof. Visitors can find more information about the author through the link at the foot of the page. Very clear pictures and informative bio section. Benefit buttons. No benefit buttons are used, but then again, each block comes with a very uh, engaging headlines and description, making it convincing enough to for clicks. And what about special offers and discount? That also means no special offer or discounts, yet the content itself is already is a big, big blessing. And about FOMO factors, I would very much like to see uh, more use of FOMO effects here. For example, the page owner could have added uh, a countdown timer for the special content package. And form design. The form is used twice in the opening page and at the end of the primary page. Repetition might make the visitors want to click more. Now, let's talk about Code Academy, Reassurance and Personalization. One first glance at the landing page and I can tell that this page is very, very techy. The fonts uh, and the 1990s and 2000 tech illustrations make it a lot reassuring and personal for the any tech geek when they first get to the sites. And take the quiz call to actions is a real catch. It shows the Code Academy uh, deeply wishes to understand its customers better so they can give them the right uh, things at the right stage. Simplicity. The text layout is all about headlines and short paragraphs, making it super easy to scan and skim. Plus, the screen feed section allows me to get to each part of the page with only one scroll, no issue. Pop up. No pops up available, yet this does not impact the performance of the page at all. And how about social proof? No social proof needed. And benefit buttons? 
The call to action buttons that lead to the course catalog seem to be very effective. The four courses listed here are among the most sought after skills in their industry, which might trigger any visitors to click right away. Special offers and discount. The page has a very dedicated section that summarizes anything a customer can expect out of the course. The time and the value conscious keywords like instant or practice, along with the key numbers like nine years and 50 million learners in the intro drive even more engagement. FOMO factor, no FOMO factor needed. Form design, uh, signing up can be a little bit of hassle, but no one does it like uh, Code Academy. By allowing you to uh, simply write your mail and password, they're taking away all the unnecessary extra effort one uh, must do when signing up to a certain sites. Plus, the form appears twice in the page, making it a lot more clickable. Next up, Munchery. Reassurance and personalization. Nothing should be more personal than food. Here on their email capture landing page, Muncher goes an extra mile to show different food courses and encourage the visitors to get the recipe from what feels right to them the most. Simplicity. The design is super consistent with one big search bar on the top and the rest are slideshows of food pictures. Simple but nice and scrumptious. Pop-up. Pops up rules simply because they work. We love how Montreal invites you to be a part of their community by blurring out their background with a black gradient and highlighting important part of the um, landing page email capture. Simple yet effective. Social proof. It would be really nice if Montreal shows some pictures of those who make excellent food out of their recipes. Benefit buttons. Each hover at each food uh, picture will show the name of the food, inviting the visitors to read more about the brilliant recipes behind it. Special offers and discount. Download a free cookbook with Munchery's top 20 all-time highest rate recipes is a real good offer. What a better way to appeal to cooking lovers, as known as prospective leads of the page than giving a giveaway that's such. Plus, the text also includes important keywords such as free and uh, top 20, uh, making the information even more credible. FOMO factor. No FOMO factors used here. And I imagine if the page owners put an exclusive recipe on sale, they could use some pricing discount effects and a countdown timer. And what about form design? The form is nested in the pop-up notification, which is nice. Could be better if it's um, placed somewhere in the primary page, either at the head, the footer, or both. Last but not least, why not talk about Shopify landing page itself? Reassurance and personalization. It's one of our all-time favorite websites and definitely understand how to do landing page email capture. First off, Shopify has a lot of landing page available in different languages. This is to make sure that everyone can create an online store easily. As you scroll down, you're gonna see Shopify displays different types of store examples. And by doing this, Shopify shows its commitment to supporting online businesses in different countries. Simplicity. The consistent use of the green and white color makes the page visually aligned with the brand. An effective use of headings and icons also have reduced a lot of lengthy texts. Pop-up. No need to pop up as the page is already filled with many information sections and call to actions. Social proof. I really like how Shopify turns testimonials into good PR opportunity. Aside from pictures of people smiling, excellent reviews, and company logos, this section also shows a video telling in detail the success story of the brand. And benefit buttons. The call to action part is super brilliant. Check out the benefit buttons. How it invites you to log in with a free trial is simply genius. Special offers and discount. Also, a two-week free trial is already a compelling offer. This is a good amount of time for customers to play around with the uh, Shopify space, set up a store, and consider long-term subscriptions. FOMO factor. Aiming to make e-commerce accessible for all, Shopify landing page doesn't need any FOMO factors, yet still manage to attract millions of users around the world with many attractive offers. However, if there's a special campaign coming, 
I suspect that uh, Shopify won't ever miss the chance at this high converting effect. Form design. The form sticks to its simplicity philosophy. Visitors only need to leave their email, then will be pointed to a standalone registration page. This is to not add any unnecessary distraction to the page. Okay, I think with everything we've gone over today, you guys have come to understand a bit more about the essence of email capture landing pages and learn some winning practices from our analysis. Please let me know in the comments what you think and are doing with email marketing so we can have further discussions. Yes, I will look forward to that. If you want to see more videos from PageFly, please hit subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at pagefly.io. Thank you for your time today and we'll see you soon in the next videos. Bye!